guys this is our first cook on blackstone griddle um, <clears throat> we went ahead and seasoned it last night um, I basically they say you can use whatever you want to season it with I just went ahead and use just regular canola oil, canola oil um, basically turned the heat on and got it up to temp just basically on high for about six to seven minutes and the cover started to blacken this was all silver uh, it started to blacken a bit in the middle part because uh basically underneath here has a uh, h-shaped burners i go like here here and across and you can see where the burners are it's basically just started to darken up a bit and as it gotten as it got darker um i just basically got up the heat i just poured on about two tablespoons of oil on it and rubbed it all in with a, a white cloth and it smoked like crazy i did the first one in the house right here and it's, it's it was smoking crazily so i decided to take it out to the garage and finish it there and it only took me about 20 to 25 minutes um i use this actual this same propane tank here to do the seasoning so i don't know how much juice is left in there i do kind of want to try to figure out how long this will take to uh to go but we're gonna go ahead and uh do the first cook on here probably just just cook some simple some bacon and some onions just to get some more flavor into the grill and we'll be right back all right let's go Turn the heat down to low. I had it on high to go for the first uh, three, four minutes to get everything up to temperature, and then I just lowered it down to low. Just to see how it cooks on low. Just sitting here cooking bacon. Uh, two minutes in, let's we'll go ahead and flip it and see what it looks like. Came up very easy. Nothing really stuck to it at all. Uh, 
could use a baking press, but I'm going to leave it alone. Go ahead and add some onions up here. Uh, should I add a jalapeno? If I, <laughs> if I add a jalapeno, I might, I might smoke out my wife from the fumes. Uh, I'm trying to heat up a little bit. Seems like this, even though we're both on low, seems like this side was cooking a bit faster than this side. There we go. I also have a little catch pan back here in the back. Basically supposed to just scrape all the grease to the back. But my my grill from being on top of my countertop, it seems a bit level here because it's not it's not automatically rolling towards the back or it's not pulling it's basically staying right here in the middle. So I got a nice level surface whenever I decide to cook it here in the house. I'll have to check when I'm maybe outside or in the garage or somewhere else in another area to Basically just make sure that I can get it to where the, if it does drip, the, the grease pulls back here towards the back so that way it can just go straight into this catch pan back here. So let's add a little bit more. These broke up.
<laughs> the box did say irregular pieces. I didn't realize that it really meant just small chunks. Because those first six that I pulled off were the only pieces that are actual pieces of bacon. Whole pieces. Oh. The rest of these are actually just chunks. That's pretty much fat, but that's cool. I can use that to help season the grill, which is what we're doing. I mean, I bought the bacon to, to do this for this purpose, to season the grill, but I didn't realize that I would only get like <laughs> six pieces of bacon out of it, um, or maybe eight, but I'm not definitely not going to be buying that pack again. Um, but it's doing what the ultimate goal was, to get some grease and get some flavor onto the griddle to help season it, so I'm cool with it. So, yeah, it's good to start off on low and then shoot up to a higher temperature once you get it going because you haven't, doing this one completely on medium, uh, yeah, medium heat, it's going a little too fast.
All right, we're pretty much done. Take all this off. Nothing stuck. Good with that. I'll try it out again with some chicken or some other meat. Apologize if that scraping sound is annoying. But that's it. First cook was success. While we still got some heat, um, go ahead and try to do some eggs on here. See what they do. Hopefully they don't stick. Ah, probably should have spaced them out. Salt and pepper. Okay. Not sticking at all. A little bit on this guy. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to get under all three of them at the same time. Ow! Let's go ahead and bust that yoke. A little more pepper.
I think we're running out of propane. Because uh, looking at the fire, the fire isn't really getting that high. And we did do the whole seasoning process and cook the bacon. And then also just try to do these eggs at the last minute. But uh, we know it's working and it's not sticking. So that's good. We're going to play around with this a lot. Um, it looks like I was able to get about an hour on high with this one propane tank. Um, like I said, I did it for about 30, 35 minutes or so of the, uh, of the seasoning process. And then about 15 minutes cooking that bacon. And then these eggs, so I bet about an hour on high-ish mode. So if you do have a 20 pound propane tank, they do have conversion kits that you can use to attach to the regulator to get more time out of it. But it'll be definitely enough to fun to play with. And if you uh, are taking it out with you, just make sure that you have more than one of these canisters with you and you'll be good to go. But uh, yeah, you can see nothing's sticking and we're gonna have some fun with this. All right, guys. Enjoy and please subscribe and join. Hey Towners, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.